As a team leader or engage manager, you may find the need to manage chat queues or SMS messaging settings during the day-to-day -day operations of your call center. Besides simply adding or removing agents in agent settings, there are some other functionalities that can apply to chat and SMS. In this video, we will take a look at some of these features. In the admin portal, navigate to Configure, Inbound Chat. Here you will find two important chat features, CAN Messages and Chat Transcript Settings. Clicking on CAN Messages will take you to the following screen. Your system administrator has, at this point, set up groups and most likely created some CAN messages for these groups. However, at certain times some of these messages may need to be changed or even additional messages need to be created to provide your agents with a way to serve your clients more effectively. Selecting a group from the group drop-down menu in the top window will change the message window below to show all messages that apply to the group. Selecting a message from the message drop-down will allow you to make changes to any message and you can then select Update at the bottom of the window to update the message. Additionally, you can create a new message for the group by selecting New next to Message. Give the message a good title that will make it easy for agents to recognize the content of the message, and then add the content of the message in the content window. Be aware that agents can alter messages before sending to clients, so it is common practice to use placeholders in CAN messages that agents use to add text that is pertinent to the current interaction. Once complete, click the Update button at the bottom of the window. This new message will now be added to the list of messages for that group. When it comes to chat transcript settings, once again an admin has most likely configured these settings. However, at the top of the page this feature can be toggled on and off if the need arises. Additionally, you may find that issues come up such as email being down or a greeting or signature may need to be altered. Any changes that you make to the transcript settings will need to be permanently configured by clicking on Update at the top of the screen. Be aware that without percent transcription percent being in the body of the email, the transcript of the chat will not be entered. Another important part of day-to-day -day management of chat is being attentive of the chat queues. Any personnel that have access to the monitoring page in the admin portal can access the monitor by navigating to Analysis, Monitoring. From the Current Queue Status pane in Monitoring, you can see all queues and the calls or chats that are waiting in queue as well as the number of agents in queue. Clicking on the number associated with agents will open in a new window where you can select the queue from the drop-down menu. This will default to the queue for which you clicked. Selecting the checkbox next to an agent's name will allow you to remove this agent from this queue and even send a one-way message to the agent. You can also refresh the page by clicking Refresh or return to the monitor by clicking here. Clicking Add Agents to Queue will populate a new window where you can select agents to add to the queue, but only agents that are logged in and already skilled with this queue are available to add. SMS messaging is treated as a chat in the system and will be directed to a chat queue. This feature will be set up by an administrator and there are no concerns as far as day-to-day -day management outside of normal chat queue functionalities. You should now understand how to manage and make the necessary changes to chat queues as they arise. Thank you for watching. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.